Hello, and welcome back to our series on SPSS Modeler. And today, this session will cover KNN applications. So, for example, you're collecting survey data, and uh, most people don't like to put their income on survey data, so they omit it. Uh, so what we're going to do is use other variables to predict levels of income so that uh, we can use that to make uh, business intelligence decisions on the survey data. So like before, we have a model already established. Uh, it consists of a, an Excel node, a Titan node. So this is different on, uh, during this series. We're not using a 70-30 uh, training testing split. Uh, we're going to bring in the KNN node. Uh, we're going to evaluate the node and do some analysis on the node. So here we go. We're going to bring our Excel node in. And this time we're using uh, different data, adults, data, income data, or survey data. Find this. Okay. We'll let this load. Apply it. We'll look at our filters again. Types. We'll read these in. All right, so we'll take a look at the data. All right, so here are our data. Age, age category, race, sex, marital status, relationships, education, occupation, hours per week, capital gain, income, and income levels greater than 50. So we won't use all of these. And we'll select for All right, so the next one is type. So we'll grab type from our field ops tab. So type allows field metadata to be determined during the uh, operations. So to, to be determined and controlled. So you can manipulate the metadata if you desire. All right, so these are our variables in our type. Let's verify that here. Okay. Next, we're going to bring in the income or the KNN. So we've got the KNN node in. All right, so let's look back. See how this is specified. Objectives, I think that's two, okay. Um, Mark status, education, and relationship. is for a further on evaluation. So marital status, relationship, education, and occupation, that's what we're going to bring in. So 
So for our target, we're going to use this income. And for the input, we said market status, relationship, education, and occupation. Why? So we'll bring that in. So let's check. Income. Okay, so we're good there. Apply this. Let's look at our, our neighbors. Automatically select K so we have a min of three and a max of ten. I have a min of three and a max of ten. Ludian, if it's a default. All right, so feature selection. We won't use the uh, feature selection this iteration, but we'll come back to it. And then we select ten on cross validation. Okay, analyze. Nothing there. Okay. So we'll apply this and uh, we'll run it. See so what we get. All right, so we've ran the model. Let's pull in our analysis. Separation by partition. Default, default. Okay, so all these are default. All right, so I'll go ahead and run this. All right, so here is our output. So the correct percentage is 82.73, incorrect 17.27. So that's the analysis. Let's look at our K neighbor information. All right, so this is our predictor space. K, we have a, a K of six. K selection. So this is our uh, K nearest neighbor value, uh, our error rate. So K selection error, uh, error log. So it starts above 0.204, comes down 0.195, comes down. Uh, so our lowest point is K equals six. So that's what we're looking for. Classification table. So if they uh, have an income that's greater than 50 uh, K, uh, they're correct, uh, the model is correct 48.6% of the time. And if it's less than or equal to 50 K, uh, then it's 92%. Uh, and this is for the training data. Let's see. And here is our error summary, 19.3%. All right, so what we're gonna do now 
Let's go back. and go to the feature selection. So what we want to do is select we want to select uh, mark status, education, occupation, and relationship. So, that okay apply and then we, we want to run this all right so So here we have three selected predictors, relationship, marital status, and uh, education. So occupation falls out. And we have, that's at a K equals nine. And then, so these are the predictors, K equals 10, eight, and nine. So that force process forces out one of the variables. Classification summary, okay, a little better, greater than 50, 55.2, less than equal to 50, 90.1. And our error rate is down a little bit, 19%. All right, so that's a wrap on uh, K nearest neighbor. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, let me know and uh, look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you.